the most important thing about that work, not only in content, was the timing. That work uh, came to us at Environmental Affairs through the, the work that UN UIDA was doing with National Treasury. And <clears throat> the scope of the exercise we're doing in the LTAS had uh, overlooked the component of costs associated with climate change. And this is specifically the added value that was brought up, what that was uh, provided by the work with UNU wider <clears throat> in the work on of LTAS. Um, what are the anticipated costs of inaction regarding climate change? And that that has provided a very good basis, not only for that work on LTAS, but for us in South Africa going forward to launch more specific focus that is based on what we have done with um, UNU wider. On the section of adaptation, we relied a lot on the information that we got from the LTAS process. We had uh, done the work on LTAS over a period of at least two years. Um, partnering with different institutions, um, MIT being one of them in, in some of the components and with different departments within the, within the country. The work was led by us at, at Environmental Affairs. <clears throat> but what that work did, it outlined for us um, not only academic scenarios, uh, scenarios of what the climate would be in the, in the near future, but it also gave us policy options of what we could take going forward in response to what is, <coughs> is um, uh, anticipated that was provided by the LTAS process. Big time. The lack of clarity on the rainfall side was not surprising to us. Um, <coughs> But the, the, the clarity that we got on the temperature side, for, on the temperature issues, is a good guide for us. And, and it, it, it gives us more comfort to inform the policy direction that we can take going forward. The nature of the field we are in, which is energy, climate change, development, is such that it needs to be backed by robust evidence. The, the, the technical work that is, required, that, that is required to inform the decisions that have to be made is crucial in the, in the work we are doing on energy, on, 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 on social development. <clears throat> Someone has to do that technical work. And it is in, in, in conferences like this that there's this interaction between technical experts and policymakers. And they try to find a language that discusses the same issues, try to talk the same language. So there is, there is significance in these workshops in that they inform precisely the decisions that countries, in particular this country, it has to take on core social development issues that are social development decisions, not only issues, but we have, as government, have to take decisions that have a direct impact on economy, a direct impact on energy, a direct impact on lives of people. We are way past the stage where we have to thumb suck that, 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 that kind of decision making. So conferences like this provide us an opportunity where we are provided with a, 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 a scenarios, a, a options to take that talk directly to these decisions that have to be taken by government officials. Providing expect knowledge is the key value. Providing latest trends, latest um, pieces of information is the key value so that the, so as to inform the, the discourse um, amongst in particular policymakers. Thank you.